Hey there everyone, Arif here from On Microsoft, and today we'll be unboxing the Surface Phone. Oh wait, did I get that wrong? I mean the Surface Duo. As you probably heard, this is Microsoft's venture back into the smartphone business. Although Microsoft doesn't really like to call it a phone, this is actually an Android phone. Anyways, let's get started here. You'll find a pic of the Surface Duo on the top and all around the sides you'll find the Surface Duo branding and some information like the IMEI number. There's also an Android logo on the box which is a bit weird to me since this is a Microsoft product after all. So let's get started and unbox this bad boy. I'll cut the tape on the sides and lift off the lid. And wow, here we have it, in all its glory, the Surface Duo, sitting on the top at least. I'll pull it to the side for now. Next, underneath the Surface Duo, we'll find the box for the Surface Duo bumper. I won't be using this during my review, so I'll put it to the side. Just be aware you could attach it to the Duo by pulling these blue strips off and setting it in like a case. Next up, there's what I believe to be the SIM card ejector tool, as well as some literature on how to put in the SIM card in the Surface Duo. But we don't need that, uh, that's what I'm here for after all. Then there's a USB-C to USB-C cable in the box for charging, as well as for data and connecting it to your PC. And then underneath that, you'll find the wall adapter. It's uh, pretty nice, but we don't care about that. We're here for the duo after all, so let me put all this back. And now for the Surface Duo itself. Let me take the plastic off. I'm just amazed at how thin it feels in my hand. Here's my Pixel 3 XL for a comparison. Anyway, let's boot up this bad boy right now, and right here, for you to see. I'll also go through the setup process too. Here's the Surface logo. It's so weird seeing a Surface powered by an Android. And here's me putting my SIM card inside. Now we'll get connected to Wi-Fi, just as you would on any other device. And now it's time for a day one update. The update will be about 250 megabytes in size, but uh, I'll speed up the process here for you because you don't want to sit through all of this. And now we're back. The Duo is about to reboot and I'll show you that process.
I'll set the privacy settings and then I'll sign into the duo with my Microsoft and Google account. Uh, there's the usual privacy stuff here and settings that you'll find with any other Android phone. After that, you'll find the Microsoft account login page. Uh, we'll then see some privacy settings here too. As you go through, you'll get a guide about how to use the Duo and you'll be taken to your home screen. For right now, I'm just going to do some scrolling and unlocking of the phone and turning of the phone for you. Obviously, I just unboxed this and I'll need to spend more time playing with the phone. Overall, I'm quite impressed with how thin it feels and how responsive the system feels. You have to try it to believe it. I'll have to do some more testing and install my apps and use it for a week or two, so be sure to keep tuned in the coming weeks ahead for my full Surface Duo review. Uh, thanks for watching and have a beautiful day.